Oh, hey no. everybody! Welcome to Hello. the weekly dev stream. Holy moly! The agenda's gone. Where's the agenda? Don't you mean holy jolly? Holy jolly! Holy, it's Christmas holy soon. Holy goodness! What's up, everybody? Welcome to the weekly dev stream. Oh dear! And uh, not only welcome to you guys to the weekly dev stream, but also welcome Mikkel to the dev stream. Our What's up, guys? Community manager. Hello. If you haven't seen yeah. the video, oh, I should have played the intro before the stream, actually. But if uh, you haven't, no, seen... you shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, just the sketch. Mm, oh. But if you haven't seen the video, let me post it in chat real quick. Uh, Mikkel's announcement video. So if you want to learn more about Mikkel, just uh, check the link or whatever. Actually, yeah, this guy can not blast eyes. Oh, whatever. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, welcome, everybody. And uh, welcome, Mikkel, our uh, new Mik I already said that. All right, I'm going to repeat myself the entire stream. How you doing, man? I'm fine, thank you. Um, this setup right here is very makeshift, like the lighting, the sound, the mic eating my face. So if something looks a bit odd or if the sound is a bit off, uh, that will change very soon yes. once we get the studio in the office set up. Yeah, this is um, a temporary setup that we have right now. Yeah, but... Uh, Man, I'm I'm Holly and I'm Jolly. I'm I'm actually. <laughs> it's been it's been a good month. It's been a good month. It's uh, looking to be a great time going forwards. Uh, it's very fun to be here. Yeah. At uh, yeah. No. Oh, glad to be online. Yeah. Mikkel joined us literally the same week we launched uh, up to date on uh, EA, <laughs> where I'm like hella busy and like have time for nothing. So like it was a pretty shitty first week <laughs> for you. Can I? Can I say that as well? Like, like I knew I was starting on November fourteenth. Um, at no, November thirteenth, the day before update date. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, like before coming to the office, I was like following along with the news and just general streams and videos best I could. And then this video drops where this asshole is like, "Yeah, so uh, <laughs> November fourteenth, guys," and I'm like. <laughs> Wait, Wait. That familiar. <laughs> Wait a second. I should have just thrown you like completely under the bus and been like, all right, like, you, you take care of it, right? Like you take care of the, the release and uh, you be on stream and you do all of that stuff. <laughs> Ooh. How hard can I mean, baptism by fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta, you gotta be able to swim, man. You just gotta go. <laughs> it's been 10 years. Yeah. Oh, I would be so slow in the pool now. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, Mikkel is going to be here on stream and help out, and he's also doing a bunch of stuff behind the scenes, taking care of shit that I've had to do, uh, uh, so I can focus on other things and stuff. And, uh, yeah, my first question to you, Mikkel, if, by the way, if you guys have questions to Mikkel, we might do, like, a thing during the Q&A where, like, we do a mix of both, so, like, maybe you guys can ask questions to me can get to know him a little bit better oh yes um, please. So, so and and remember we always do these like um at the end of the stream when we're doing the q a i guess we'll sort of do intermittent between like Mikkel and and satisfactory related questions um and we use slido for those things so like if you have any questions throughout the stream um pop them on the slido you do exclamation mark ama and you get access to the link you don't need to log in or anything like that it's all um What's it called? Anonymous. <laughs> um, so uh, do it. And we're also very festively uh, dressed for the oh, occasion because yes. uh, one of our merch partners, I say one of us because I, only, I we only have one right now, but uh, our official <laughs> merch partner, Heroic Replicas, uh, have been working hard on getting the Fixmas sweaters out for the holidays. Um, if you see this now, it's too late. <laughs> you can still order them, but you won't be able to get them, I believe, before uh, before the holidays, unfortunately. But uh, you can always get them for next year, I guess. But they're pretty sweet. This is one of the designs. There's also another one with like the Pioneer in, in gray. That's pretty sweet. Um, so go to go to Robo Capricas, buy this, buy our stuff. Uh, exclamation mark merch. Blah blah blah. Sell out. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Um, how much, okay, so, so before we actually move, move on with this, like how much have you played the game so far, Mikkel? I haven't asked you this in a while, actually. Uh, right now on Steam, let's actually, um, what, what's your, what's your man hour here? This is the Play thing. time. This is the Black important question. Yeah, 75.3 hours. That's and I believe good. my, yeah, I believe my, thank you. Yeah. I believe my longest save file in the actual game has like 65 hours. Mm -hmm. 
So I've done a couple of resets, but uh, yeah. We'll check, <laughs> 75 we'll is not 69, though. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I should have paused there. Yeah. How, how far yeah. are you in, in like the progression? I am on the very, very cusp of unlocking tiers 5 and 6, I believe. Um, I don't know the name of the material off the top of my head, so please don't shoot me. Um, oh, I think gonna... I need to turn in like... Oh yeah, you're going to grill me. I know what <laughs> This is this is your um, this is your job today, chat. We got to absolutely, like, uh, what's the word? Uh, shame Mikael for not knowing enough about satisfactory because I've got enough fucking <laughs> shit. You will be able to do that like next year too. Like there is absolutely no shot I will learn all that you and even these guys know like in a year even. It's it's. Uh, well, I've I've it's had how many years have worked this game? Like six years. I still don't know shit. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but, uh, no, but I, yeah. I think that's oil, right, 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 or oil. Yeah, yeah. So I am um, um, actually, it's, it's coal. I've been I've been using coal a lot lately to get power mm -hmm. uh, and water. It took me about. So I'm sitting next to Hannah in the office. Uh, I'm sorry and, to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> uh, and even with a designer so close by, it took me like almost two and a half hours to realize you can't put water pumpers like beneath. I mean, under surface and also vertical, but mm. that they had to go, you know, no, sorry, horizontal. They had to be vertical up a wall. Um, so I didn't get water pumping for like a solid three or so hours until I realized, wait, I'm an idiot. Shit. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, you can. Did they lie to you? Wait, did she? You can totally put them on like, uh, well, you can't place them on the ground, but you can put them on pipes or wherever. I'm digging my own grain, my yeah, yeah, own grave yeah. here. What the hell? Hannah oh, no. gave you false, <laughs> false news. She's just trying to. She set me up for this, man. Yeah, yeah. No, they can be horizontal. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, fair enough. Yeah, we might yeah. do so next year because this is the last stream, obviously. So, so uh, we're gonna close it off for this year. But we might do a thing where maybe you stream the game, and play it, and and I'll backseat, and then we can all oh. hang out and and tell oh, me how to no. play the game. Oh. Uh, that could be a fun thing to do. I'm sorry, it's way too hot, by the way. I just need to wrangle this off. You gotta commit to the bit, man. Oh, like, you sure? Give me, like, give me 10 minutes without. Yeah, like, we, we backseat on this stream alone, so, like, I'm sure a gameplay stream <laughs> won't be fine. Um, all right, cool. So, so but you you gotten through, like, I think coal is usually the, the breaking point for a lot of people. So, like, yeah. getting pipes to work and all that stuff is usually the... Yeah, so I had pipes working. I had coal working. I was making power through water. But I was, like, the amount of conveyor belt spaghetti I was making, like, trying to connect coal nodes to my initial... Well, base is a kind word, but my, <laughs> my initial Starting whatever area. it was. Yeah, basically, with all the, like, it's Northern Forest, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, like, this little, like, precipice with, I think, four iron nodes, mm -hmm. uh, all smushed together. Very good place to start out. Um, I had conveyor belts going from, like, Narnia to there, and just bringing me coal and stuff, and my efficiency was, just, like, subterranean, so I decided, like, right before I was finishing turning in the last couple of materials as a couple like maybe 60 70 materials like this like advanced rotor thing mm. uh, for the elevator i decided to dismantle everything and build somewhere from scratch to make sure i actually had like a bit more of a system going on like more efficiency a bit more of a structure yeah. maybe the start of what would be a mega factory i'm realizing what an absolute fool <laughs> well, uh, I am for thinking I could make one right now. Um, but yeah, the goal right now was basically to just, again, move everything to just one good space and have mm. everything be like a bit more condensed. Uh, and getting that started, like that project. Wow. Yeah, you got to commit, man. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yes. And you got to go again. Yeah. I always, feel, again. I always feel like up until oil, like when you get mm. Mark IV belts, up until then, that's the tutorial. Mark IV belts? Yeah. Oh shit, did I spoil the game for you now? Why are there, oh, why are there, why are there Mark IV belts? Like, like, with Mark III, like, how do you, how do you keep them pumping? Like, <laughs> those belts, they just, they just chug and hang up everywhere. Like, there is absolutely no way I could make anything go faster. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, Mark II was more than enough. You, you, you'll get there. You'll get there. Oh my god! Yeah. Um, do you do you guys do you guys make like an action RPG in the office that I can move over to? 
I kind of feel like button mashing is more my jam. Once at this point. we add uh, base defense, we can add that as an ARPG situation. Um, <sighs> but yeah, it's it's like once you get the faster bells, then like you can actually utilize all the nodes properly. Then uh, mm. you rebuild everything essentially. Like every time you get a tier up upgrade to your belts, you completely go like, oh wait, now I, I can do more. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, and then overclocking oh, no. all the the miners and stuff like that. And at some point, you're gonna love it, aren't you? Like I am. Yeah. Instead yeah. of dreading it, yeah. yeah. Also, a fun little tidbit with my save file: it's 65 hours. I think like almost 20 might be a 20 might be a huge number, but like at least at least 12, 13, 14 hours, probably 14, 15 hours, have just gone towards exploring caves and dying to pigs, like. <laughs> endlessly That's so great. yeah there's definitely been like days where i've just played and not made any progress whatsoever. like in fact i've lost progress I, th I think i still have like how many chests four or five chests just lying around that i just couldn't be you know effed going back to mm. so yeah i guess i could do that at some point yeah or just make a new save file and <laughs> just restart from scratch again yeah. Now, what I like to uh, do is I like to do my starter stuff and like I'm get up to in. to uh, tier seven or like whatever, uh, uh -huh. and there's just like abandon where I started and just go somewhere completely else and like just restart essentially, because mm. then you've unlocked everything and then it's like way easier to to uh, you know rebuild everything and then you kind of know what you want to do. Yeah, I guess when you see the I say whole picture, but like at least most of it, like you know what you have at your disposal. I guess yeah. that's a good point to actually commit hard commit to a mega base or um. A proper yeah. factory yeah have you used any of the um because <clears throat> there's a bunch of really cool like calculator uh, sites and like planning tools that we have i don't know if you used any of those no no Little... although also i've lost like three or four hours to um the um... game crashing i knew it <laughs> what's it called the packaging mini game like when you oh yeah. Of... yeah 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 blocks into a square. Deluxe. oh make that make that a standalone game man like it yeah, will sell yeah. like crazy i promise you it is a standalone game. You just have to buy Satisfactory <laughs> to play it. <laughs> well, that's this, the one. Satisfactory tools. Yeah, Thank this you. is why we upgraded to Unreal Engine 5. Is we got to have the proper <laughs> graphics for the Packager <laughs> minigame. Uh, well, fully worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it was a an event feature that was going away. Like, I was like, what? Are you serious? No, like it was, uh, originally it was made for Fixmas. So, like, mm. um, and the theme, I guess, for that was, like, uh, okay. One of our UI artists made made that from scratch essentially for Fixmas because mm. like when we did the initial Fixmas, everyone just did whatever they wanted, mm. and uh, <clears throat> like it, it makes sense like packaging because you're packaging presents or whatever. So like the packager mini game was tied to that, um, and then once Fixmas was over, I think what happened was you know it we when Fixmas is over, you don't have access to it anymore it anymore. But I think we added mm. it back, or it might have been a bug where. It didn't got removed, but then we're like, nah, it's fine. It can stick around in the game forever. It's fine. <laughs> um, or we just decided that we wanted. I don't actually <clears throat> remember how that came to be, but yeah, I, a lot of people really liked that mini game, and uh, we kept it. And uh, you can you can play that whenever. So like, it's not tied to Fixmas necessarily. Are you playing with Fixmas enabled right now? Of course I am. Nice. Because then it's you get like a whole other slew of things to automate to just derail your factory even more. Yeah, I mean, my like, and no one has given me a an, like an actual hard box for a present in like what fifteen years now. Mm. So getting like infinite is very reassuring, like very just fun. No more socks, no more sweaters. <laughs> very nice, cool. So yeah, chugging along, getting there, and uh, yeah. yeah, we'll get there. So uh, Mikkel is still a bit uh, green when it comes to like satisfactory development and all the stuff so, so uh you'll still get the general news from me for the most part but we'll get there how hard can it be to be a community manager for satisfactory right did you build a cannon have you built a hypertube cannon yet do you have hypertubes unlocked what is a hypertube yeah they that's your answer right there <laughs> yeah we we should do a backseating uh play session just like check out what you've made you need to give us oh, a I tour I Which, thought it was this is going to be loud, sorry. I thought that was already like part of the plan, honestly. Yeah, nice. Point. Cool. Yeah. Then, then, then it's official. I'm committed. Let's nice. go. First, first thing that happens next year. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, let's give a little bit of state of dev then, shall we? So um, what's going on? So this is the last 
stream for the year, so you won't be seeing us for until next year. I don't know when we'll resume streaming. It depends a little bit on um, what we plan to do. Mm. Um, or maybe you'll start streaming on doing the, the fun gameplay stuff, and then we'll come back to this format again later. But we'll figure that out next year. Anyways, so, so, um, so yeah. That's that's the plan at least. So this is the final stream where we're gonna just hang out and, and chill and, and eat cookies, I guess. That's oh, that's the word. I need to update my bingo card. Oh yeah, we should get that back. So um, <clears throat> so in the world of, of, of satisfactory, I have a couple of uh, news, I guess. We've talked about for like a couple of weeks now that we were planning to do an update to our online integration system that we had for our game. And um, we were supposed to push that out last week. Uh, change of plans. We changed our minds. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take a pause on the online integration system for a bit uh, because when um, when it came to like to actually pushing it, there were a couple of like questions that we still have with how it works and the flow of things. And it would actually when we do push it live, it would affect sort of uh, stuff long term that we weren't sure we would have committed to yet just yet and it wasn't a thing where like we could have backtracked like once once that stuff goes out it's it's out essentially so we wanted to uh take a little bit more time and spend like it needs a bit more time in the oven essentially to make sure that uh we've thought it out properly um and that we have the right features for it uh, <laughs> multiplayers get it removed confirmed that's exactly what i meant <laughs> Uh, the online integration, by the way, I, I've talked about this many times, but just to clarify again, the online integration isn't necessarily isn't tied to like the online connectivity stuff. So I know a lot of people have issues with the connectivity thing. We're gonna look look into that as well further down the line. Uh, we won't be able to do it in in the near future because we're going on holidays. That, I, I guess that's also one important thing I need to mention here is that uh, this is the last week for the entire team together. Like once, uh, like next week, most of People like Coffee Saint will be gone and like be on holidays, um, and we won't be a, in full force until back in January. So that's why we are not going to push any more patches or anything like that uh, until next year. Um, but yeah, the online integration stuff um, is, is sort of a layer that just rests on top of the, the online uh, system that we have, and that's more to deal with like feature sets that has to do with with online. Uh, that's why it's called online integration, I guess. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, we've decided to not push that on Experimental. Uh, we are, however, going to push one last patch to Experimental this week, uh, potentially today or next uh, or tomorrow. Um, and this patch will, will include a crash fix that has one of the most common crash fixes. I don't remember which one it is, uh, which call stack it is, but it's one of the most common ones. Uh, we're also going to update the localization that's in the game, and we're also going to fix a small UI issue on the reset fuse lever um, that was being offset or something like that. So so it's not a huge patch or anything like that. And uh, yeah, once that patch is out, that's going to be it for us this year, essentially. Um, and when it comes to like, also need to probably mention this as well, that Fixmas is currently running, by the way, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> if you haven't played the game in December at all, and you log in now, you're going to be quite surprised if you didn't know about this. So Fixmas is currently running <clears> the game. Um, and Fixmas is our holiday event, and Fixmas will run up until January 18th. So if you haven't, if you don't have time to play the game until like after December or whatever, uh, or until after the holidays or whatever, you, there's still time to, to get around to it and try it out. Uh, there's no new content, but it's it's back, baby, essentially. Uh, and if you don't want to play with Fixmas, you can disable it in the main menu by going into gameplay, and then there's a seasonal events ticker thingy that you can uncheck. And uh, that way you don't have to uh, play with Fixmas enable if you don't want to. Um, and yeah, like I mentioned, this is the last stream that we have for this year. Uh, I know a lot of people are curious what we plan to do next, and we'll talk more about that like what's coming to Satisfactory next, but we won't do that until after New Year's Eve. So a little bit of a cliffhanger there for you folks. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that soon, but soon, next year. <laughs> All right, that's the state of depth. Did I forget anything? Trick question, I never forget anything. <laughs> 
again. So I'm sitting next to Hannah in the office, uh-huh. and uh, we've had a lot of snow in Sweden mm-hmm. lately, like a lot of snow, for it being this early in December. And, uh, you know, like, even Hannah sometimes is just looking outside through the window, seeing all the snow and, like, muttering, you know, maybe, <laughs> just... Just maybe. I thought you were going with like, you know, I sit next to Hannah and she's like, we see the snow and like, sometimes Hannah just looks at him and be like, thank God we don't have a snow biome. It sucks. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that look in her eyes. I think yeah. she's considering it. No, 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 no. Mm. Don't tease us like this. It can't be. Unless, no, 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 no. It's, it's probably never going to happen. Probably never going to happen. You know what I mean? Never is a strong word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't... In this economy. <laughs> All right, that was State of Dev.